She doesn't have to kill us. Okay. Hello there, folks. Welcome. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragon Larks. I'm CM Dragon Lark. And I'm C. Mota. I'm CM Veritas. Oops. I'm over here in the corner, hiding apparently. And I'm Portillo's. Yeah. I'm Heimdaller. I'm just John. Um, <laughs> when we last left, uh, <laughs> our group had ventured forth into a goblin cave and slaughtered their way about halfway through, it appears. They've seen a lot of it. I guess there could be extensive tunnels beyond, but, um... Maybe it's like Narnia. Maybe at the end of the uh, cave will be a portal. A war portal. Veritas' <laughs> character had, I believe, charmed a, uh, a goblin named Gorley. And I was, was almost. I did. I did charm him. I am charming. Yeah. With I magic. charmed the, the wolves at the beginning, too, sort of. I did. I am a charming. I'm, I'm gonna, I was going to say With magic. Word, but I'm going to curb my attitude. I, I am just a charming, charming, yes. Uh, All charm. And I'm the latest character, Orsic, right? I am Orsic. Orsic has intimidated three uh, goblins into hiding instead of advancing forth and attempting to murder them all. He's on a bridge right now by himself while the others are still back at the... Actually, I was behind the bridge. Yeah, you, there's a you, flame. you can, you can see right there. there's a flame there. there. All right, so that's keeping... Yeah. You, you can see uh, him around here on the second camera. Um, so what were your guys' plans? What do you... Well, we got the guy. So we should exfiltrate him out of the cave. Wait, did we get? Did we get yeah, he's right there. I thought there was another person. What were we doing? Oh, we killed everybody else. Uh, Sildar was Howlinter was the the captive. I thought we left. No, no, no. Uh, no, this is where we cut it off. We didn't actually get around. We the have a uh, goblin right. boss guy that he's willing to that help is us. charmed, and he yes. probably won't be willing to help us yeah. in ten minutes. Is that the one down in the pit? Unless I no, can recharm the other one. They hadn't killed it's that guy nothing either. But charm. He was just hiding. Where's our charm sword going? ready? Just like yeah. he's right he's here. Turning. This is him. I had him a different well, color a so that point, he so. would stand out. Oh, where's the hero guy we're rescuing? He's outside. You guys went outside with him and did, then left him out we? there. Yeah, I football yeah. tucked him and ran. Oh, uh, yeah. we right. He he didn't want to go back in, but. So we went back in, slaughtered some goblins, and what is our game plan then? I thought oh we were wait, weren't we supposed to, we had wanted to kill the bugbear and stuff because we get gold? Yeah. And information. Uh, Clark. Uh, Clark yes. is a bugbear uh, who has information on the Krama castle. That's and right. And that's where Gundren is held captive. That's right, because he's not us. here. That's right, because we, the, the, this dude, didn't he also offer us money if we kill the bugbear and then free his people? He was going to give us his gold teeth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, gold teeth, gold coins. I mean, do we even have any, any other money? Gold teeth in a pouch. Uh, no. That's fine. No. As long as it's gold. So if you're gold. It's pretty much we either kill all the goblins or we uh, win this cave or we go hungry. If, if all right, we, if let's we, go win this cave. Uh, the head of the red brand will we get 100 gold, but... Uh, I'm injured. Know. I don't know if any of you are injured. You're out of magic. I am at seven. Nine. I am injured. I am I, I'm at nine uh, mm -hmm. hit points. Perhaps we should spend another day in front of the charming cave where we <laughs> no, practically we're live We're going to make now. camp here. We've been we're in this cave for like rest. a week. It's, it's very nice. It's, it's like it, a It's summer becoming home. like a second home, yeah. What one worry is, is they'll re-fortify this bridge and well, build again. We could just keep well, killing we, the goblins to, at this bridge. We'd have to deal with the, the water. Yeah, we actually haven't been up that passage. We have no idea what's to the left up the river. Well, I vote for pushing on. We have yeah. them on their heels. And Maybe if we run into health potions. If we <laughs> run into the chieftain though, we'll be in trouble. Then we can withdraw. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Um, uh, let, let's what should we do with our captive? I mean, our charmed, charmed buddy. Yeah, he should take the front. He'll take point. Ooh, yes. <laughs> uh, we will help you. Uh, what's this? Uh, Gorley, the leader. Yeah, uh, Gorley. Uh, we will uh, help you 
uh, to retake this beautiful cave from uh, Clark. Merely lead from the front Is and provide a, leadership a to your people. Convince them to join our side. Really match with Kim, um, that's why. Oh, there's lots of little um, toys here. So is this still on fire? No. No, that went out. Okay. Good fire. So you're going to just shove in Gorley in the front? We're going to have Gorley convince your comrades that we're here for the Lead best. Lead the way. Tell us the best way to get to the bugbear that's causing you some issues. Well, and along the way, try and recruit the other goblins to our I, I say, how long does this charm spell last? Uh, yeah. About... I think it's like an hour. Actually. Yeah. We do check. And once the hour is up, he will but, know yeah, that we'll, he will We'll still him. walk ahead. Uh, should we proceed stealthily, perhaps? Uh, it's going to be hard to do when they know we're here. Well, right now... I we, mean, I guess we did just come from that direction. Yeah. And we are trying to be It allies. lasts an hour. We're <laughs> trying yes. to appear to be allies. We... Yes. It's I been mean, a terrible we, misunderstanding. We're here to help the goblins. It worked on Wednesday. Uh, yeah. You, didn't, you guys didn't <laughs> heal... Here, uh, yeah, he will him at all, right? No. Okay. Nope. Just if they kill him, that's on them. Yeah. The direction. I, wanted, I, I was making sure I remember that correctly. I don't think There's we more. have healed. What? Oh, that's great. We'll finish. We'll, we only have an hour, so we will be finished by then, of course. <laughs> yeah, we can stay a little. Bit. All right. So let's do this. Gorley kind of hobbles forward. Talk to your people. Uh, I move forward. Yes. Continue. I'm gonna assume we all move forward. And I have my bow ready just in case. We're um, going to replace the figure with with this one. Hey guys, don't shoot me. You see that? Uh, these are actually friends. Is that you dead? Huh? The gray. This is the guy. No, no, no. He's yeah. talking. He's talking about yeah. Otis. Day. Oh, he just yeah. hasn't been painted yet. Soon we will have a painting party. Makeshift Monday painting party. Actually, that would be fun. <laughs> that would be. I've got plenty you? of practice painting final uh, fantasy flight figures. There we go. See? Final fantasy flight. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can cubed for you paying attention. Uh, this right here represents the map. Uh, it's a smaller window than I thought, but I guess it is kind of. Wait, 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 I can I'll just do this. <laughs> Whoa! I'm the cameraman. It's like a drone is uh, flying above this cave. Um, so I guess he would have to roll for that, because... Okay. Yes. If he doesn't have the skill listed down, then it will be his charisma against their... I mean, if he's telling the truth... I mean, we are just allies at the moment. Yes, joy. I just us. want to point out, we Burr. look like awesome allies. But Ignore the fact that we are bathed in their blood. Right. <laughs> Your man is blood. convincing the other goblins, not yeah. us. Yeah. That's what I was... Well, so no, that's what I mean. He, he, he convinces maybe buddies. Maybe we won't be front and center. Yeah. You guys, like, scared them. And now they're hiding. And maybe. they're not really inclined to be super trusty of anyone coming to the cave and saying hello. We've come as your savior. Then you can give him, like, something like disadvantage on his check. Yeah. You, you don't have to trust us. You just have to not mess with us. What exactly. Would, get out of our way. What would a role for something like that be? Uh, if he's uh, telling the truth, it'd be persuasion. Persuasion. If goblins don't have it listed, then it's just their wisdom modifier. Okay, so negative one. Yeah, goblins aren't very persuasive. Uh, hey, uh, you should listen to me. I'm very trustworthy. But would he have an advantage because he was their boss? That is true. They so that might cancel him. out the disadvantage. That's it true. depends on his is personal he, relationship with them. Yes. Are they, are they good friends? Or were they the ones that were working for Clark? Don't give her ideas. Oh. Well, we half of them, some portion of them were mm. with him. The other portion was with the others. I just have to sit right over here. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, on this side. Um, all right. Well, would a roll on that still be a, a, a D20? Would it's that always be? a D20. Okay. And then it just has to be over however difficult... However difficult you think it I is. I decide for it to be. Nah. Average is, I think, easy is 5, average is 10, oh, difficult is 15, very difficult is 20. And you don't have to do 15, so you don't have to do 5 point brackets. It just gives you an idea of where it is. Okay. Oh, I'm going to roll three different times for three different ones. This guy, his name tag clearly states that his name is... Bob. Ben. 
I'm sorry, close. the names are already. <laughs> ben looks up and Ooh. is convinced. He Yay! Is. We have goblin friends. Can He's we get like, a goblin buddy, team? that's great. I know that it's always been your dream to take over this cave, and now you finally have allies. You look a little beaten up, though. So, Sorry. you better sit down. We're out of healing magic. That's true. <laughs> the other two kind of inch forward. Uh, Let's see what they think about it. Carl. Uh, Carl says, all right, I mean, it couldn't be worse than what it's like being here now, so. Their working conditions are awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a worker's revolution. Volley hangs back a little bit. And then like volleyball? runs oh. mm -hmm. away. What do you guys how far can How do the other goblins respond to that? Where is he going? Come back, friend. That's not the way to salvation. <laughs> Oh, God. You have to come with us if you want to live. He runs. The goblins say stop him. I guess they didn't fight each other. <laughs> Do we roll initiative then? Yeah. Well, I mean... Well, okay, before he runs, he says, this is a terrible idea. You're all going to die. There. That makes it... Well, okay. what about that? Now we have motivation. Somebody's going to die. Uh, all right. Oh, I can already tell. This day is going to start off great. It's going to be one of those. Yep. <laughs> With the goblins, we're like. No. No. He gets, I just want to show everyone nine. what I rolled. Okay. This is a, a lovely. You, this guy gets. Oh, five. you got a whole nine. I got a whole three. That's um, that's a usually, three. Oh. Well, it's up to you if you want to do it individually. It's just harder to track. That's um, true. You might want to write down like on your on the mat there with a with one of the writable pens. Not. This is oh. mine. Oh, okay, on that back there. Yeah, just write down what their initiatives are. And then we'll tell you what ours are, and then you just put them in numerical order, and whoever has highest goes first. Not me. I got a 19. F you. Well, that's not polite. Okay. I'm on your team. This one's going away. <laughs> it must be nice to have multiple sets. I'm, I'm, I'm just using the alley balls. Uh, let's see if we have a new Oh, no, we need to get... No, you have a set I got that, a or 19. Is that the, the company 19. set. That's okay. a company set. So, no, no, no. Uh, Oda, the next time we go like to uh, Brooker's yeah, Hobbies, three. I know what we need to do. Get you a set of your you own You need to pick Wars. your set. Everyone needs a set. What was yours? Well, I'm using these. Uh, no, no, what was your initiative? Six ones. Oh, uh, four. Four. And yes, I like, you, I like the look. Oda, the white and blue. The I'm sorry. Is under uh, this is so loud. Uh, this is not relevant. Help me. Okay. Yeah, I do not know what's happening. I hate you, Twitch. <laughs> you are the worst app in the world. Oh yeah, that's right. I had the. Good I brought Lord. this so I could look at the Twitch channel yeah, and then like, hey, never turn it back on. Look. We'll, we'll go, uh, I no. did this so that. Uh, whoops. What was your initiative, Oda? Uh, eight. All right. So. So you go. Yeah. You're first. How important is this? Should I blow a spell or just cast a cantrip? Eh, cantrip. We still got the bugbear. Mm, I was hoping to. We need to get rid of these goblins. Just make them <coughs> get out of the way. Maybe go to the dog pound area and just. I can cast Chill. over that. Go have tea. I'll cast at the one who's running, Ray of Frost. I'll slow him down. Oh no. They said we need to stop him. You did that. Maybe I'll slow him down. 16. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that'll hit him. I'm going to hit him for 8. Maybe. And then, so when you hit him... <laughs> did he slow down? <laughs> the ice slowly forms across his back and then splinters off the other side, so blood explodes at the oh, wall God. as they oh, see, like, crumbles to the ground. He's unconscious! <laughs> um, I'm guessing you guys have room. entered the room now. Like, yes, yes, so we can see where. Yeah, we have definitely entered that the pen. room. All right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's a $40 match. So many. <laughs> Sorry. Almost, almost ruined. Things you learn when playing these games. Well, I was the one who learned it first. <laughs> 
Do-do-do. Okay. Um, can the camera see? I think, I think so. Know. This isn't really so much the important part, but um, other than him exploding against the wall. When you... So that was this Yeah, later? he's okay. upside down and dead. Um, when you enter the room, you see that there are two um, half-empty pools where the water is trickling down. Okay. They're being held back by a makeshift dam. All right, that's you can build it with like with the, the blue... The blue... Pen? Yeah. Got the pools? I guess we can do that. Get out your artistic joy here. <laughs> so those are above us? Yeah. They're oh, okay. down so like they're that. Kinda... Oh, so the, so the water's the coming down, and we're like, so we can hear the river above us coming down. Yeah. This is the walkway to the center one. kind of masking the sound from that way, yeah. And those are the pools of water, and they're above us, and there's like a stone dam that's keeping them from plunging into this room? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's not destroy the dam. Unless it becomes tactically necessary. Right. Well, I mean, we've been swept out before it survived. No, it's just a faster just, way to get out. If we destroy the dam, then they can't build a rush of water to swipe us away again. Because we'll only be squished in with the rushing water. <laughs> yes, we would destroy the what, Whatever mechanism that there is rushing to water. let the water out, we should jam it or something like that. Sabotage. I'm truly sorry about your friend, but we could not allow him to lurt Glarg before we were ready. That's okay, he was a jerk. Oh, okay, well. They're pretty casual about he it, so okay. He ate my lunch three times in a row. My name You know, on did he just Literally. take it right from the cooler? My I name was written on it. I hate oh, it when they do that. Yeah, uh, so he deserved that. He, he had that coming. Yeah, that's a bad one. Yeah. Oh. Boy, I, okay. I must have lost more blood than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what are what are your plans for taking out Clark? He's, he's isn't he just right over there? Yeah, isn't he just around the corner here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> who, like who all is in there with him? Um, one of you peek in and let me know? No, I mean... They've been in there you for... You mean like around here? Yeah, he's right around the corner. There's, there's Barl, Barl and there's Ren, and there's his dog, of course, Ripper. We don't like him. He ate a goblin once. Um, are Barl and Ren goblins as well? They are, but they're totally on his side. Like So it's Glarg, Barl, and Ren, and his dog. Yeah. And on our side, we've got the four of us and you three. Yes. Oh. Although, uh, don't you think maybe we should be leaving uh, Gorley behind? He doesn't look like he's doing so good. And it's true. He can give us advice from the back. Throw rocks at them. Uh, you know, if he had a crossbow or something like that. Are you sure you really need our help for this? I mean, I feel like you guys are strong enough. Like, they, they oh, don't, that you guys are strong don't enough to you want to feel yourself. like you have fought for your freedom? Right. I mean, exactly. you've got to be part of the, of the worker you, revolution. Exactly. You can tell great stories of courage and heroism and the future to your grand spawn so how do you exactly. guys know gorley anyway how'd you guys uh oh you know back in our college days <laughs> exactly so, let's really talk college. about our strategy here yeah so let's start uh, well, let's change the subject to the strategy shall this we? is the important part we can all reminisce later over drinks and steak okay well what are your what are your plans we've tried a couple of overthrows in the past and they have not gone very well. We've got a bugbear, a wolf, and two goblins in there. That's well, right. If our goblins the can wolf. kill their goblins. Yeah, if you guys can take care of their goblins, we'll take care of the wolf and the bugbear. At least, you know, try to talk them over to our side, you know, tell them. We'll give them a little money, maybe, if they if they change their allegiance. We have money. The goblins like money. Yeah. There, is, there is no talking to these guys, really. They're like... Oh, I do have money. <laughs> they're they are nowhere near as reasonable as we are. They will stick with that guy till the end. I mean, are you planning on mm -hmm. befriending him? Because good that heavens, no. Unlikely, and as we all know, we're not going to go in there and like just start talking to him so we can get shot while you guys no, are doing whatever. No no, 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 don't worry about that. Just once we go in, we will, uh, you know, once the battle is joined, I suppose, then you can. Uh, go after. We the will goblins. give them our demands, and if they don't meet them, then we'll meet them with our, our steel. And our demands will be: they leave your cave to you and your tribe. Uh, shouldn't you guys go in first? Then I mean, they're not gonna—they're gonna take one look at us and kill us. They've killed other goblins for far. You'll less. come in besides us. We'll go in together as members That's of right. the Workers' Revolution. E even though I mean, I'm sure it is sort of wide enough to accommodate us, yeah. standing shoulder to shoulder. Maybe we'll have to turn and walk in unison. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, why don't we head on in? Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, well, show us where they're all. I guess I'm, I'm the highest. I'm going to try and look here. really intimidating. Since yeah. that battle where he got charmed, how many minutes? I'm passed? fucking intimidating. <laughs> No, we're rolling initiative, I think. Um, let's see. Well, there I was just saying for... There wasn't really a fight, so I mean, I would say... No. 15, 20 minutes most. Okay. Like, Shield of Faith is gone. Mmm. Okay. Um, so I we're just walking spells. in. Gonna try to we talk to him, or are we attack? I have one spell. Okay. Okay. Oh, you do have one spell left? I have one because we rested, and the only thing I did was Shield of Faith. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, there's Intimidation. Oh, that, that fire thing you do doesn't... That's a, that's a cantrip. I have 22 points worth of Intimidation uh, How many right cantrips now? do you have? Oh, I'm going to wait until you guys have So you guys have walked Honestly, in, right? You guys are walking far. towards there, I'm or are you yeah. still planning? Okay. Now we're walking towards there. Uh, I'll go up front. You don't want me in the front? Well, I mean, I... With you're the healer. Mm-hmm. We got to keep the healer back. I, I do have a, a charisma modifier of plus two. I mean, that's uh, Larissa's looking sc- or dang it, Veritas is looking scary. Yes, yes, I'm terrible uh, at that. I really am. Ah, uh, <laughs> I should be fired. Uh, Out of the cannon into the sun. Look out, stomach. Right. We might want to. Can we move this? <laughs> is this going to cause an issue if I move it so um, closer? So that, think, oh yeah, no, no, no. no. We're, 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 make sure you're not on the core. We're trying to move further. Mm-hmm. All right, there. So we have a tracking. Jeez. The, mi- the mystical eye of Osiris Lysol. of Lysolus <laughs> sees all. I feel like we should cover this up. This will. So. We'll have it. We'll have it covered up by next time with something fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> a tower. Oh yeah, tower with the oh, eye up there. Yeah, the tower inside the cave. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually like that idea. So come up with ideas for what we can replace this life song container. Uh. <laughs> I love this. Um, okay, uh, so two goblins up front, a dog thing, and Clark is in the back. All right, so. Sacks and crates of looted provisions are piled up in the south end of this large cave. To the west, the floor slopes towards a narrow opening that descends into the darkness. A larger opening leads north down a set of natural stone steps. The roar of falling water echoes from beyond. In the middle of the cavern, the coals of a large spire smolder. Much all the time. Okay, so there's like a campfire here. Yes, and then there's just like loot everywhere, like over here. Uh, can you hand me the yellow? The Kenya. Oh, the fire makes excellent aim point. Well, uh, eh, they get the idea. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and open negotiations. And by open negotiations, sleep. Um. Okay. Who are you aiming at? It actually hits all enemies in a 20-foot radius of a point I choose. I roll 5d8, and then from that pool, we subtract the hit points of all the targets until we run out of hit points, until someone's hit points are more than I have left. Anybody who, so for example, if I roll 40, Mm -hmm. the goblins have 7. Those two goblins would go to sleep, and that would subtract 14 from my 40. Okay. And we keep doing that until I run out of hit points to knock out. Do you start with the lowest or highest? I have to start with the lowest. Okay, so I am. I, I was. I, just, I was trying to decide: Do I target all of them, or do I just target the Glarg, ho- the, the Glarg and his wolf? So it either hits all of them, or it hits none of them. No, 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 no. Um, it, it starts It'll at the lowest. It, it'll oh, okay. always get some, but there will be a point where I run out. But that's why I'm trying to decide where I target it, because if I make sure the two goblins aren't in it, all the hit points are concentrated on Glarg and the wolf. No, okay. we can convert the goblins. So hit Glarg and the wolf. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to take Glarg prisoner. Just well, he'll be that. unconscious, yeah. so it'll be easy. Do we Maybe. have something to tie up above there? Mm-hmm. 15. There's, all adventures have rope. I, I hope so. Okay, so there's a pool of 25 hit points. I've hit Glarg and his wolf. Okay. Now, do you, again, do you hit just the one that's closest first, or the one with the most The one with the lowest hit points goes down first. Okay. So, so for example, if the wolf has eight... Uh-huh. He goes down first and 17 hit points remain, or whatever. So the wolf you don't have 30. to tell me how many there are. Okay. The wolf immediately gets up upon seeing you, and then imme- then as soon as the spell hits, crumples to the ground. So. Okay. Now, subtract his hit points from 25. 
-hmm. Whatever's left, if Clark's hit points are equal to or less than that, he also falls asleep. Uh, Clark kind of shakes his head, stays standing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. roars. Mm -hmm. Now we roll initiative. Uh, I took hello, the, I, I took the wolf out. Wait, um, the rest is on you guys. No, there may have been a misunderstanding. Your narcoleptic wolf. I actually oh. could cast that again at Clark. Hey. There you go. I can cast that again at Clark I like himself. these dice now. Uh, 19? Oh, well, probably not. All right. <coughs> and so I can just roll for all of them, right? Yeah, you can roll them in bunches. So you could do like our goblins in a bunch and then their goblins in a bunch. Okay. Kind of like Edge of Empire where we just handle it in like kind of groups. They're minion groups. Oh, okay. I really like that minion rules. All right. Uh, I would give Clark his own role, though. Yeah, I gave him his own role. He seems like a boss. Yeah. Um, and then we would then call out what ours were, and you would put them on the list. Okay. And then you go down the list. Um, I go at eight, at eight, so later. But more <laughs> than earlier than me. Um, so the the distance. Would you? What would you get? What was your? What was your initial? Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, so did we say each of these was five feet? Yes. Veritas, what was your? Eighteen. I or no, seventeen. I got a five. All right. So the order is going to be Edwin. Good luck. Cobbledod. Yes. Our goblins. Clark. Oh dear. Their goblins. Um, Osh, Osh, I can't see it. Oshrik. Yeah. Forsyth. Forsyth. Of Forsyth. And um, Zeke. Zeke. I will go dead last. I'm, I'm tired from casting this spell. Maybe our goblins will keep their goblins distracted. And we can concentrate on Glarg. All right. Um, okay. So, Edwin, uh, what is Edwin going to do? Let's see. You replace our goblins. Oh, oh yeah, uh, so we know they're friendly. Confusing. <laughs> and then the wolf. Is that because it's a smaller? I uh, I follow me, goblin friends, and uh, I'm gonna rush forward. Get Glarg's attention, I guess. We'll see how hard he hits. So I, I think a uh, <laughs> movement of 30 feet, and I'm going to uh, run up to him and uh, take a swing. Mm -hmm. That oh. was so close, man. Oh. It bounced off the papers. So mm. you get for not going digital. Oh. That's true. Uh, so my two hits. Um, Should be next year weapon. Okay, next to weapon. Uh, attack bonus is plus five. So you got a 13. 13? Uh, no. Mm, I really wish you'd gotten that 20. Okay. Hi, uh, hello. I came here to negotiate. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're right there. Uh, yeah. Your HP? axe hit a, a, the side of one of his buckles and then slides right off. Oh, he's one of those buckle mongers, huh? Ugh. Dang it, so it's our goblin's turn? Also. Yeah. Hopefully they'll um, distract their no, goblins. No, it's Hubbledot's turn. Oh, Hubbledot. Fireball? So. It's going to be a weird thing. druid. Uh, well, crap. I mean, it could, could it be the, like, I'm already. slightly to the side? You could <laughs> be anywhere within yeah. your movement range. Yeah. So I kind of tried to attack him from the side, uh, but I hit the side of his bubble. These How are our eye guys, too. Yes. Yeah. Don't hit them. Okay, so... And don't hurt the unconscious wolf, or one, it will wake up. One, two, three. Mm. <clears throat> Which one's the unconscious wolf? That one. Oh, God damn it! Don't hit him with damage. You can hit him with anything that doesn't hurt. As long as he's not hurt, he won't wake up. If he hurts, he wakes up. And these are the two bad guys? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so if I go here, it should just miss, miss the wolf. What will? You're gonna thunder, thunder wave? wave? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna hit their goblins? Yes. Well, you can hit the wolf. Uh, it would be a critical hit because he's unconscious, but it will only do double your dice roll, so make sure you'll kill him if you do that. I don't know. I don't know either. 
You have to make sure that I you don't know. Do we whatever. Well, because the sleep if I go spell, here, how long does that last? Can go sleep one. lasts. Excellent question. One minute, so ten rounds, and I should be tracking that. So it'll go in a cone this towards me. So if I were to be round one, actually, because they passed out when you immediately rolled okay. initiative. This one? So actually, yeah, I guess it would be round okay, these two. These all need to be nine rounds left on my turn. We're sure you they're there, right? Or eight rounds left on my Everyone turn. needs to be in a square. Got it. All right. So if I went here, I could maybe barely miss you. I'm going to do this. Is it a square or a cone? Cone. Okay. Oh. It's a cone. Oh, no. Range. Oh, no. I'm looking at the top one. Self 15 foot. Oh, 15 foot cube. Oh. So never mind. Wrong mark, wrong mark. Oops. Okay, so go back over here. So 15 by 15? And I think, wasn't that one on the other side of the fire? And then that one was closer to us? Well, actually, they weren't actually in a box. I just moved them into a box. Because okay. they were sitting in the middle of boxes. So... Because then if you could hit the two goblins and the wolf. Like, if I go Aim at the here. fire, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or actually just one back. And then aim there because it's a 15 foot cube, so it's a three square by three square cube. This yeah. way? Well, no, like if you were here, it would be a three square by three, it would be this whole territory. Because you choose which facing on your square it goes off on. It doesn't have to be centered on you, it just has to be a three by three foot square away from you. Even though it says self? That's the range, you're casting it from your square. You can't cast it at a distance, so you would have to be here mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, Jason. Well, let's yes. do it. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to read off what Thunder Wave does. A wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. In addition, unsecured objects that are completely within the area of the effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you by the spell's effect and the spell emits a thunderous boom audible out to 300 feet. Cool. So not stealth. It's not like you're pushing them this way. Yeah, so it would be going boom. So pushing that them up going away. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so now, they just need to make a saving throw. Did you say constitution? Yeah, constitution. Even though he's asleep, the wolf gets that. Wolves, yes. uh, uh, sleep, sleeping creatures fail automatically strength and deck saving throws, but they do get constitution saving throws. So, okay. the, this will, should be easy. Spell save DC is 12. Okay, so just roll. Roll a d20, add whatever the con modifier is. Just roll it one at a time. Seven for the wolf, so... Eight, eight fails. Eight. Two Fails. for one of the goblins. Two for Fails. the other one of the goblins. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So all of them are going to take full damage. So you're going to want to roll 2d8. And for the, hold on, don't move him. Because for the wolf, you're going to need to roll this too. That's what the wolf does. Can you crit on spells in this? Yes. Okay. And if spells have dice rolls, they can crit. Okay. Don't they get the, uh, a spell attack bonus? <coughs> no, you don't have to roll an attack. Because they, they get a, instead of you rolling an attack, they get a saving throw. Mm. So eight, one, so the so wolf the two takes goblins, nine. Yeah, well, no, the wolf takes 16. The two goblins take seven each. Uh, you killed everything. Oh. And their corpses went hurling this way back against yeah. them. And the fire is out. And the There's fire the is sound. out. <laughs> There's a strong smell of burning flesh and fur. As but yes, magic can crit in this. Everything you hit what f goes flying, exploding back into the wall of treasures. <laughs> um, the ground is covered in scorch marks and the fire flies back and then goes out. And we all have to Leaving the room in darkness. Go goblins, help me attack Clark! <laughs> Aren't you, aren't you able to see it? You can't see the dark, no. right? Nope. So no. He's the only one in our group this who can't see the dark. So there's probably like maybe a light glow coming from here because the cave mouth is here, but it's probably not even dim light. It's just like you can tell there's light in that yeah. direction. Does anyone have a cantrip? <laughs> oh, that's awful. I don't have light. This card's turn is coming up soon. I don't right. have light either because I don't need it. Uh. Okay. So it's the good uh, goblin's turn. There could be embers. There could be... 
Uh, that was a pretty solid spell. I don't think there's anything left <laughs> Um, oops. Both goblins, whose names I'm not going to forget because it's very important. They just saw Ben them. and Carl are uh, so impressed and excited at suddenly wiping out half of the competition that they run forward to attack. Oh, uh, I was going to say, I hope they're archers, but maybe they'll take the punch for you. Well, yeah, that's true. They play. They, I forgot that they can. They had the. Both. Though, Both. if it's not even dim light. We may not be able to see either. Dark vision, we can see up to 60 feet as if it were, uh, you see dim light, um, and in darkness as if it were dim light. So for us, it's dim light. Okay. Ooh, boy. Um, Which, that's modifiers, isn't it? I don't think so. I think in this game, it's really only modifiers to the perception. I don't even think it's penalties to attack. Yeah, you so see I'm kind of it, still the, able the to biggest see thing is we see in shades of gray. We're not even in dim light, we're they, in dark. Ooh. They move yeah. further into the cave. And okay. They shoot. This is okay. Yeah, they can shoot. Oh. Yeah, so they both shoot uh, individual rolls for each one. First, of course, they have to roll to see if they can even hit him. Let's see. I found light, but it's not telling me what the effect is. is. Uh, well, the first one can anyway. So Ben um, shoots, and that's one six. That's the, he shoots an arrow at Clark. Um, the arrow hits him in the arm, and he flies back a little bit. Um, yes, okay, thank you, Book, for telling me what dim light means, but what is the effect? <laughs> it's just like, ah, eh, you know, Actually, it's like reality. Maybe it's just, well, His uh, be companion, Carl, immediately shoots nothing. after him. And misses completely. Um... So now... Oh, no. Okay, is. so for us, we're okay. Um, you're kind of blind. So I'm guessing disadvantage. You have the blinded condition. You can't see, and you automatically fail any ability check that requires sight. Attack rolls against you have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. However, isn't if he uh, casts a spell, it creates a light effect? But it's only for a brief second. Hey, but at least you get that second. <laughs> mm. But it won't be on his turn unless we can cast something that's continuous. Do we have any mm. continuous spells? I could cast light. I know, I don't have light. This you time. know, I had a reflex. Do you have any spells left? Yes, I do. I've got a tinder box in case anybody wants to slowly start a fire. It takes <laughs> more than six seconds. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. So dim light, which is what we are, we will all have disadvantage on perception. Darkness, which is what he's in, you get the blinded condition. Okay. So we all have disadvantage on perception right now, and you're blind. And I'm pretty sure goblins and hobgoblins like us have dark vision, so they're not. Or they might even have improved dark vision. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they live in caves primarily, right? So So they're dwarves. I don't know why. I mean, you have dark vision. I, I do. I think they're supposed to be like, well, dwarves it used to be infravision and then dark vision. They I think started they, building homes and then they kind of lost. I think they took that out. I think it's <laughs> just yeah, it's just did. it's dark vision and true sight are the only sure. two types now. What, what's up? Okay, so Clark roars again mm. and announces that he will kill every single one of you with his bare hands. He has bare hands. I like his optimism. <laughs> But then immediately grabs um, the javelin Ooh. at his waist and attacks uh, attacks uh, Edwin. Edwin, yeah. Okay. So he already couldn't follow through with his yeah, threat. He's not the smartest. Of so he has advantage against Edwin because Edwin is blind. that bad boy Another. twice. Or roll again and see what's higher. Alright. Fifteen. Yeah, I think she'll probably uh, take fifteen. 15. What's his bonuses? Well, so the bonus, which was the bonus? The hit? Attack bonus, yeah, to hit. Alright, um... Uh, four. So, nineteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, that hits. Alright, let's see. What's your AC? Uh, seventeen. We gotta get you. Do you have a shield? He has, and this is two d six. Does anyone have a, else have a d six? Right yeah. Are you using a two hander or a one hander? Uh, this is great axe. So it's a two hander. Yeah. 
fun while you don't have a shield. Right. And our warrior dies. No. No, so he should be at four. You're not. Your total HP is nine, right? Yeah. Um, does it add? Is, if it says plus two, I then add plus two to that. Okay, so it's uh, ten. He does ten damage. What's so. your AC? No, his hit points have to be higher than that. I think the basic for a, for a fighter is D10. What's then your con modifier? His is one of the. His uh, is a basic character. Plus two. Yeah, you should be at least 12. You should have at least 12. Yeah, but I was down to 9 before. Oh, oh something hit you? Yeah. Yes. Well, okay, so uh, minus 1. So that just means you're dying. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, I have to do the... Uh, oh, happens all the time. On your turn, yes. On the next turn. Unless one of us heals you before that. Uh, so I basically fall down... He uses the javelin to stab you in the side. Who? That's going to leave a scar. You're an inhalation surgeon. <laughs> this guy's tough, guys. And then you fall over. Yeah, so I basically I'm on the ground. Okay, whose turn is it now? Um, now it is... Oh, no, they're dead. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is why I wanted to be in Four the front. Six. Because I cannot get to him. Four six turn. What's your speed? One, Twenty five. Two, three, four. You, oh, no. You. Yep, this you'd is why I wanted to be in the front. You'll be a square away. <laughs> That's fine. I can heal him. So, we did I'm all going to pile in before five. we attack? That's pretty much where we are as pile in that. Mm. I yes. will end right here. And I will throw a hand axe directly at Clark's face. Yay! That's called shot, man. That, no. In the face. In the Clark. No. No. I miss. Clangs off the wall. That did uh. not roll at all. This is on par with us. It is Zeke's turn. I'm going to cast my last spell, Sleep Again, all concentrated on Clark. Okay. So if I roll more than his hit points with these 5d8, he goes to sleep. Okay. Um, 10, 18, 20. Uh, once again, it, he shakes his head and then roars again. If he has more than 20 hit points, we're all going to die. Especially with our fighter it's, already it's down. It's just two crits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my character looks worried. Um, I'll move forward a little. Uh, ac- actually, I will use my last spell. It's a bonus action. Healing word on the fighter. Okay. One. Plus, I think your wisdom on three. And then the spell check, I think, is five, or is it three? For what? Three. Plus the. Spell casting ability modifier, which is that's your wisdom modifier, yeah. Okay, so you heal six. Six, great. Which means you're automatically awake, even though you're still prone. Okay. And so my awesome. magic spell failed. I'm going to move in a bit and unsheath my short bow. Where are you? Right next to the goblins. <clears throat> All right. So now it is okay. It's. It's Edwin's turn. Yep. Yeah, so my action or my movement is to basically get up. So you healed how much? Uh, I'm at five hit points right now, and I, I do have second wind uh, oh, that I have not yet used. Okay, yeah, it's standing up will use half your movement. But you're not going to move much anyways in the deck. Probably He's right not. there. Yeah. He's just waiting for you. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to get up. Uh, and I can heal you again. I got knocked down. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take a swing with a great axe, and this will be a disadvantage for me. Yep. You're still blind. Okay, so that's a good roll. 15. Roll higher than that. Okay. That is. That's the one you probably took. Yeah, you didn't want yeah. that one. 
you missed. Yeah, oh, really well, so. <laughs> is there uh, flanking advantage for flanking? There is. I think it gives every target advantage. But because we're not rogues, we have to be exactly opposite corners. Yep. Then my move, I will get there. Um, how? Dodd goes next. Yay! So I see my bloody compatriot. His natural form. Yes. And I will do uh, cure wounds. It's instantaneous. Okay. So uh, I'm giving you a fighting chance. Everybody flanking the target will get advantage. So in his case, that would cancel out his disadvantage. So 1d8. Nice. Oh. I don't Plus know if I would have hit on a... Um, your wisdom modifier. A wisdom modifier. Four. 19's a pretty good total. Uh, your wisdom modifier. You have a 20, so that's a pretty good one. So I was looking at this. Did yeah. this count? Hmm. No, that's your saving throw. Maybe on the next one. So, this one won't get there. 10. 8. Oh. Well, 8 plus 2. You rolled a 6. You rolled a 6. Okay. You moved, you moved oh. the action. Move. Oh, uh, so how much? Eight. It's still going to max him out because he's at yeah. 12 yeah. is his max. Ah, That's thank you. Feeling, only matters is feeling better already. Are you maxed? Yeah, he's maxed. Cool. Now I just need to create a fire in here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. okay. But during that moment, light did shine. <laughs> yeah. For just a second, you could see. Um, all right, so it's the goblins' turn. <clears throat> they're still, they're really excited. There are other people between them. And the uh, we're tanking. Where's <laughs> Meltface? Why isn't he? He did not this? follow you into the room. Oh, he's uh, he's done. He's like leaning against the wall back here. He he's got one it. hit point. He's yeah. all he's messed done. up. He's done. He's <laughs> I mean, it's not like Clark has a uh, a lot of ranged weaponry or anything. He's got a javelin. So throw. then, oh, it's huzzah! Uh, the goblins might actually. I really should have waited on sleep till we had hit him a bit, because it's his mm. current hit points. Rough him up. Yeah. Two, so that's my mistake. He's do still doing more. They're doing more damage to Clark than uh, we than are. Our, our <laughs> Did he really roll a twenty? Huh? I see a twenty in front of you. Did one of our? No, he yeah, oh. is it like a fifteen or something. Like this? I thought you were. I was like, are our goblins critting? I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So then. Ben just went and then Carl goes. Go oh, Carl. He misses again. Carl. Carl's having a bad bow day. Poor Carl. Carl, you're spending time on the range when this is over. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, so... You get a smaller room in the cave. Uh, yeah, now it's Clark's turn. We don't like Clark when we go. <laughs> no, he's not allowed to go. Um, Clark hurts. Clark should not be going. Clark looks at Edmund and says, stay down, and then swings his morning star. No, he's using something different on you. Um, he, with his other hand. He, he has, needs to paint all of his oh, weapons. Oh, he's got two. He has two, two hands. Oh. He has two arms. Who would have thought? Uh, all right, since you're right there. But you can't hug me if you got full arms. Oh. He has advantage because it's... Um, he's blinded, yeah. Oh, he misses somehow. Wow. <laughs> so just he's like, just mm, so mm. excited that he swings right over your head. The king. Oh, I, I was just trying to pick up a penny. <laughs> um, all right. It's like Clouseau. So, so it's Orsic's turn. Okay. I warily move to here, here, then here. Do not take a tax opportunity because I did not exit his threat. Mm. And I heft my two-handed warhammer in a, uh, my warhammer in a two-handed fashion to get hopefully more damage. That's not gonna do it. Twelve. But you get to do it again, you have advantage. Oh. He's flanked. Uh, you should roll something other than that. Well, the other die was rolling ones and threes, so... Getting better. <laughs> I'm done. All right, so now it is... Oh, <laughs> um, well, I'll just surround them. <laughs> just like... Oh, if you think I'm getting into melee range, you haven't been paying attention to what I do. I'm just going to... I have the bow out, and I don't know why I drew it. My guy actually looks at a confused one and goes, Oh, that's right, and I point my finger at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I drew that. Why do I have a range like weapon? Why do I have a bow at all? Um, it's, it's your bow finger. It's my bow finger. 
I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost at him. Will a 23 or 22 Ooh. hit? Yes. That's a, you gotta roll against that pen all the time. Yeah. I'm gonna hit him for three, and he's slowed for his next turn, which means if he moves, his speed is minus 10 feet. Okay. So if we, we just need to all run over here and lure we him. Just kite him, just kite him with Ray of Frost. All right, uh, it is now Ed, Edwin's turn. You no longer have disadvantage, but you also don't have advantage. They cancel each other out. Yeah. Okay, so. So roll it once real good. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's real good. good. That's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, you did. Okay, uh, so it's 1d12 plus slashing. Using the... Um, 1d12 the plus your strength modifier, right? Uh, something plus 3. 1d12 plus 3 yep. slashing? Yep. Yeah, that's a 12. That's a 12. That's a 12. Okay. 10. Clark, your time ruling these caves is at an end. So... Go to sleep. I you don't have any spells on. And you hit him across the stomach, Ooh. and his guts start to fall out. But no. he holds it. Not in. all the way. It's like he he's like strangling you with them. He, like he puts Ricky it like a crank, and then like. <laughs> he doesn't seem phased by this and continues roaring. He's in a rage. His enraged timer is gone. Um, it's Hobbledod's turn. Good spell. Good Finish him, Hobbledod. Uh, well, it's gonna be hard to run out of spells. Yeah, me so. too. All of us. Uh, so, uh, we're going to, uh... You wanna get on up there in melee? You feeling confident? <coughs> sure, let's try it. Oh, no, your AC's worse than mine. Don't do any of what <laughs> I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a scimitar and a crossbow. That's I'd use that second oh, one. crossbow. Just choice. There. Barn doors with. So let's uh, uh, let's try this yeah, crossbow try thing. <laughs> so uh. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yes. Error high five. Right, wait, we gotta show everyone. Look at that. Look at that. It's I mean, Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so right. you roll the damage dice twice and then add whatever the modifiers are. What about that? So okay, so the it's one d eight plus so one piercing. Case. So it's two d eight plus one. I would. Six. Okay. Just like... Um, the crossbow bolt hits him in the throat. He throws his head back, vomits blood, and Yay! then falls over dead. Oh! Yay! We Anyone standing next to him is probably sprayed by the vomiting. But oh. Oh, okay. so uh, my character... Oh. This uh, game is horrible. What my, is that smell? My personality trait is also, I don't like to get dirty. <laughs> You're dirty. Oh! It's, it's just blood again. Oh. It's, it's just, it's just blood again. So there's that. Oh, this is. I'm just like sitting down. Oh, gosh, we need to get you better armor. All what right. are you wearing? I, we I all could worry. probably use a little better. I can't. Mm. Arcane caster. So. At least you uh, can send me. Yeah, which but is what I, I do. I, maybe I should do Sword and Lord. I don't know. You hit him pretty hard. It's just I can't take the hits. Gorley comes stumbling in. Yeah, yeah. Now it's time for him to come in. Uh, we killed them. Are these like the last three goblins in this cave? This is it. <laughs> Where were you during this epic battle? Enjoy your, your friends kids. here. So you, you Jason, that. he looks uh, very pale. He's kind of crawling on the ground. Oh, he messed up, dude. You lit his face on fire. <laughs> he could have said something. Uh, he Gorley. grabs the cape of of Zeke. Kind yes. of put me out of my Why? misery. He says help. Kill me. Okay. <laughs> How, uh, uh, okay. You know, I, we help those who help themselves, of course. <sighs> Rub some mud in it. No, I'm the good character in the party. I'm good too, I just don't really like goblins. <laughs> I'm neutral towards them, so I'll try a medicine check on them. Make sure I can stabilize them. I don't know why we're going to end up fighting him with the charm spells over, unless he's appreciative of what we've done for him. <laughs> unless he really Hey, we so haven't badly. badly. You hypnotized me, so he's but you did what I he wanted you to do. So, so okay. did he hypnotize us? I bandaged him, basically. Okay. Maybe Who hypnotized he the brains? sits down by the wall, and he passes out. All right. Well, your new leader <laughs> will live. He's not going to look pretty. Um, but can one of you who can see in here, like, light a fire or something like that? 
Well, I, I'm out. So of mad. Survi- uh, I'll play survival. Check I, on the floor, look, I, I've got I've got a tinder box. No, yeah, okay. I don't even have one of those. I should get one. Uh, seventeen. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. To light a fire. I think it's five with the tinder box is the DC. <laughs> so we take this slightly bloodied uh, and damaged wood pile it in the center of the room and build a fire. That's gonna smell lovely. I highly recommend someone take this out, and it will not be us. Well, goblins, all three of you, you're free. Enjoy. Uh, Thanks for that. And now look at all this gold that we have. We can do anything we want. Yeah, we... uh, We're we're cutting that in half, remember. Yeah, we we agreed to help. Um... I mean, will we split it? Are we going to finish them off? What are we doing? I'm good. We made a deal. I'd stick with it. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, not, I'm we're not, not the, going to I'm stick around it here. We just need to get what we but can. But I for, want to be that, paid. That key. Key. We need the key. We need whatever the supplies were we were sent here to get. And then whatever is equitable. And doesn't he have a map, too? And three teeth. Yeah. Uh, they just they want you to know they're, they're actually going to take off. They don't even need that much stuff. To be honest, Gorley isn't that great of a boss either, oh. so uh, if oh. they could just get enough so that they can... Uh... Sure, why don't you both take a handful and run on out of here and start your own new lives. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, no, have a farm and... So they open a uh, treasure chest in the back of the room. Um, so glimmering? Whatever. Yeah, well they know where everything is. Hmm. <laughs> um, what does that stand for? What's it say? What does CP stand for? Copper pieces. Uh, and they start... They fill a um, a small. Wow, we got five dollars. They can have all the copper they like. <laughs> What's SP stand for? Silver pieces. All right. That's getting to be a little more valuable. And then. Uh, then again, this whole room is filled with nice stuff. So that's true. That's GP a, is gold. They run out. You know that was a. An they jump down evil. the chimney. EP is evil pieces. Oh. EP is apparently really rare in this game. Same with uh, platinum pieces, even though they still I'm guessing wide. that's a bad thing to have, right? No, no it's, 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 it's a combination of silver and gold. It's a bastardization of both, and no one will accept it. Because it's a currency from <laughs> old, ancient, fallen kingdoms. So yes. electrum and platinum. They'll accept platinum. Platinum's worth more than gold, but that's yeah. even rarer than electrum is. I mean, like pieces. here. All right, so... Um, <laughs> I'm guessing you guys are gonna search the room. Yeah. All right. Yep. This is the end of this um, episode. But what loot did we get? I wonder what happened when they ran by the fighter loot. outside. The what? The uh, fighter we left there. Well, he was still pretty messed up too. I'm guessing. The, I wonder if they ate him. No, Sildar. He probably like pulled himself into the brush or something. I hope so. Who, we, who's to say? Really not our we fault. loot the cavern. Um, so. There's what adventurers do best. <laughs> there are a lot of like uh, captured stores, and they're bulky, and you guys definitely would need something to transport them. Do uh, we have a wagon? No, we dropped uh, the wagon. No, we dropped the wagon. We can always go back and get it. Yeah. Uh, Nobody's going to want to mess with this The place. treasure chest has 500 copper pieces and 100 silver pieces, two potions of healing, and a jade statue of a frog with a tiny golden orbs. For eyes. Okay, hold on. The copper 40 pieces gold pieces. Stay 40 gold pieces, is that what it is? Yeah, for the tiny golden orbs. Oh, that's what it's worth. Okay. Oh, yeah. The frog statuette is small enough to fit into a pocket or pouch. So, silver pieces, the um, jade thing, and the frog. Yeah, so, okay, so the frog. So, can you run it through it again? Um, so, the two potions of healing, we, we have the copper, the silver, the potions of healing. Uh huh. And then you said the jade frog. Uh, yeah, jade frog with two tiny uh, golden orbs for eyes. It says forty GP next to it. So that's what it's worth total. That's what the statue's worth. Yes. Yeah, the copper was ten gold worth of copper. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so it's a, no, one gold worth. Uh, was five gold copper? worth of copper. So it's five hundred copper. It's five hundred copper. So that's five gold worth of copper. Um, and it was a hundred silver, which so. is ten gold worth of silver, and forty gold. So we got about fifty-five gold. Is there a weight of money in this system, or is it all switched to our credit sticks? Yes, but only if you really want to get that detailed. You well, don't have, everyone I don't has really, but <laughs> we all have that thing in the uh, arcades. Each of you guys get two hundred seventy-five experience as well. Woo! Is that not, is that counting all the kills? Because we are literally 25 short of level. 
Um, let's see. Could we please, Hold pretty on. please? Because we never got any XP. Yeah, you get for, 50 so. EXP for the wolf. And let's see. Did I write down here? I should have. You, I 200 EXP for for a. Uh, so usually, hard. usually kill experience is actually divided. Oh. Okay. So we would all get 82 from that. Okay. But tap that with the 275, the quest experience is not divided, and we're going to be up at 357, which is enough to level. So you have to get to 300? 300 is level 2. Cool. And the levels do go up to 100, so <laughs> let's get on it. Yay! You're almost there. Yeah. Like I said I have Ravenloft waiting just in case. Well, I mean, when this you is all like finish. the first chapter. This isn't even the Mines of Fandalwar yet. Like. Yeah, <laughs> this was literally an accidental encounter. Yeah, yep. this is like the smallest of them. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're, we're still in the tutorial intro. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't yeah. even. Well, you know, having a full party. It, it Are you guys leaving? What's his face slumped against the wall? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is his kingdom. He we'll leave the tea. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave him the ha a handful of copper too. Just uh, like should we take his tea? He, he yes. didn't have to take them. He was gave them to us. There oh, did he already give them to us? Oh, he's there, going to. He's. Are you guys gonna wait for him to wake up and offer the tea that is pouched him? Or? Yeah, we'll wait. Really? I did. I oh, already medicined him. He'll. He should wake up very shortly. Maybe some of you guys should. Uh, I can actually wake him up. I maybe think. some of you guys should take that short rest before we're gonna press on. Uh, in our next adventure. We're going to go to town and sleep and take the supplies back and that kind of stuff, I would assume. Okay. It's, it's going to take us more than a day, probably right there. Um, so we'll take a long rest along the way. When he wakes up, he's very groggy and disoriented. He hands over the couch without saying anything and Three then gold passes out again. Enjoy your new kingdom, lone goblin in the caves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they multiply by budding, so so there'll be 40 here in a week. Anything else of interest in this cave or on the body of the uh, of whatever that dude's name um, is? Because we were looking for a key and a map. Yes. Let's see. I feel like there should be. Da -da -da. Mm. Why do I have a short bow? I literally never need it. Um, Could be situations where, for some reason, you can't cast. Possible, like I'm silenced. Maybe. The same as me. I have a hand axe. that's the exact same damage as my cantrip. So right. It's like it why? It doesn't say <laughs> that he has the treasure map, which is weird because they mentioned the treasure map previously. Maybe he hid it. Well, because without it, we're not going to know where to go. So we need to wake him up. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no. He didn't hide it. Didn't I know. <laughs> There's a problem. <laughs> How did we kill him? Not not via... Melee? Because if it was via melee, we could have said we knocked him out. Nope. Pretty much melee didn't touch him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't finish him off, did I? No, the, the crit. The crit throat thing with the bow. Oh, right. And then there are two little shoot shoots. Yeah, you can't knock them out with a crossbow. <laughs> well, you can, they just never wake up. Yes. Well, I guess them's the breaks. He's just sleeping in some blood. <laughs> that's my hit point. You all saw it. I rolled it naturally. Oh, oh that's God. right. We have to do that roll. Thing. I don't like this part. This is the part where I find out this is awful. Oh. The wizard has 18 Sild hit points. Sildar, sorry, <laughs> I think I miss said something earlier. Sildar believes that Clark set the map and the door to the chief of the Kragmas at a place called Kragma Castle. We'll have to go there. Kragma Castle. He okay. doesn't know where that might be, but he thinks someone in Vandalin might know. Okay, so, so we'll have to go, go to there. We're going to have to go somewhere. Go to Kragma Castle? Yeah, but we have to I mean, find... I you could question the goblin to see... We have to go to Thandalar to find out where the ca Sorry, castle is. Mean. Where's Thandalar? Is that the city we were in? What are we in? trying to get at the castle again? Okay, so we need to go to Thandalar to find the castle. Because the castle has the dwarf and the map. I think. I can now have three. Oh, Thandalar. We think someone in Thandalar knows where the castle is. Right. And the castle we need to get to is... 
Krogmar Castle? Krag Krogma? Yes. I mean, again, you could question what's his face. He's the only goblin left. But. Well, you've already told us that. Yeah. It's not going to change. I get to learn two new spells. Does this game have training where later on you can spend time to upgrade your hit points? No, but you don't have to roll if you don't want to. You're allowed to take half plus one. So if you roll a d8, you're allowed to take a five. So I can take a five, or I can or, roll a die and, and have a 50% chance it's worse. Yes. A 16% chance that it's the same, or 12.5% chance it's the same. And a 37 and a half and a half is better. Of better. So do you feel like gambling? Or do you just want to take the five? Plus your con mod, then you add on to that. I'm going to take the five. So Plus your con mod. My con I'm mod is one, so six. You get six and one. So you have 15. But you could end up being awesome. I rolled. I rolled max. You rolled the six. Well, this game is a game of chance. Well, that, okay, well, that's not bad. It was meant to be that way, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm five. curious. You would have maxed it. Oh, it, it hurts a little, doesn't it? What happened? <laughs> we're, we're, we're deciding. He's going to point that out. <laughs> in case, yep. In case you, so, I was so sad. I wanted to roll this dice, but only the wolf would have rolled this dice, and you killed him before I could roll it. Well, yeah, players always try and kill the bad guys before you get to roll those. <laughs> we're doing hit points. The roll level two. You have a choice. You can either roll a d10, okay, or you can choose a six. Now I noticed the higher your dice, the more like the better it is for you to roll. So for like so you have d10, 18, you have 18 hit points. How? I have a con mod of three. And you own. Oh, you got max both times. At first level, you automatically get max. Everybody gets yeah. max first level. And you saw me roll the six on the second one. So yeah, I have 18 hit points. Hmm. So it's if I would risk this. So right, so you have a fifty percent chance to get nothing, a ten percent chance to get the five to get the six anyway, or a forty percent chance to get better. So it's like, do you want to take the six, or do you want the forty percent chance to get a seven or higher, with the fifty percent chance of getting worse? No, uh, I'll, I'll take the six. I think. <laughs> plus your con mod, whatever your con mod is. Six plus two, eight. so eight is how much your hit points go up. Okay, so twenty. Yeah, you've got 20 now. I feel like the real heroes in the last battle were those little goblins that almost they, were, they did some great work. We Although, let them, a crit uh, yeah. uh, yeah. bowcaster shot sure did the trick. Oh, we did and let the him, spell to kill all the other things. We let so, him take a yeah. handful of loot and run. That was nice of us. We, <laughs> we sure are heroes for not murdering them. The people who helped the us. The people okay, who helped for us this no group, problem. that is a, uh, that I, is a uh, skill right there. So, I've seen uh, parties. So have you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, next week, I believe we will be heading into Fandolin and Ooh, see what yes. awaits the heroes there. If you were with us when we went into Fandolin before, you know that might be just as dangerous as going into the caves. So. Now I'll have people there to keep you from getting robbed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they'll just lose everything we just got. That'd be funny. Anyways, <laughs> you guys have a fantastic Friday. That would be hilarious. Bye. Yeah. Have a very happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Bye. Have a good weekend. Can we turn on the timer? And...